Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you the process on how to remove the front sunglasses console on a Holden Commodore VE, WM and VF. So first step is to check the lights to make sure they're working and all that type of stuff before you take it out. If they're working, go ahead and grab the plastic trim removal tool. The one that we're using in today's video is a nice wide one. You can use your fingertips, but it's so much better just using this tool. Pop down the front section. They can be quite tight depending on the bracket behind it and the little metal tabs. Pull it away from the rear section and those two tongues basically tuck underneath the headlining and the bracket itself. Now is a good time just to check those four screws to make sure that they haven't come loose because it's very common on these cars that you uh, say the customer can hear a rattle up the front section and that's usually due to those screws becoming loose and the metal brackets just tapping away vibrating on the metal part of the car or they can actually come that loose that they're you know when you drop down the sunglasses console they're not there no more and they're probably rolled around somewhere inside the roof lining itself just tighten those up they are a t20 torx head screw bit so just go around and tighten all those four up just to make sure that they haven't come loose so this is the stage where you can unplug the connector to the sunglasses console and exchange it. Just be gentle with the connector there. You don't want to break it because the unit might not work after that. Also, I want to bring to your attention there may be a fifth screw used. And it's always good to check to see if that was used before you start this whole process. And you can do so by dropping down the sunglasses console little shelf just by pushing it down. And then look behind the shelf itself and um, just see if you can visually see a fifth screw used because if it is you've got to take that out before you start to make these units fit nice and tight and firm you can adjust those little metal brackets either side and up the front there so you can just flare them out a bit just to make it go in there nice and firm and tight then you just want to check to see if the lights are operational and working still and if they're all good um, that's that's the job done that's how you remove one of these ones and reinstall it thank you for watching guys